so this is the so we are done with the construction so we want to install the device now we want to demonstrate the how the device works now this is the uh, linear actuator that is the motor so actually the system is a is a linear solar tracker 180 degrees so i'm going to fix the linear actuator i'm going to fix it to place so this is a washer So this is the connection, this is the power, for the power, this is the connector for the motor, and this part is for the uh, LDR, that monitors the light intensity, so this is the LDR, this is the control box, so I added this push button because I found out that the person that did the construction actually, it's, he made a little bit of mistake. But once the once this part gets to the end, like once the motor gets to the end, it will be difficult for it for it to rise again. So I had to put this push button so that device will know that okay, this is the last point. So once it gets to this point, it will stop moving. So um, I want to power the device from the solar panel using the solar panel. So this is the positive. And this is the negative. So we are set now to test the device. Well, if you do it, so we are set to test the device. So I want to turn on the device, but as you can see, we have um, the intensity of light is higher this part. So the device should move this direction. So as you can see, the device is moving. So immediately it gets to this point to stop so now at this point it seems that the light int intensity at the both side is equal so but maybe if i close this part now it should be moving the, to the other side If I move my hand to this other side, so now this this is the linear actuator. It's rated 1,000 newton, 1,000 newton. So which means it can carry up to 100 kg. So which means it can carry like two of these panels. If you extend the frame, you can be able to carry up to two panels. And it draws very little current, not up to 0 0.5 amps. So it's a good one. I would recommend it. I bought it from AliExpress, about $20 or so. So that's that. The second one I'm fabricating now, um, I want to do it in such a way that I don't have to put this gauge. So that's that. The system is working properly and ready for installation. Thanks for watching.